Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going through my Ulta haul. Um, I didn't get very much. I think I only got maybe like eight items. Um, I only got one repeating item, which is actually the first item I'm going to show you today, which is this Stay Matte Primer. It's in the shade 003 and it's by Rimmel London. It's got a couple of benefactors for your face, but it's just clear and white, if you can see, it's just white. Um, I put it directly on my skin and that's really it. It's supposed to help with um, oil and not really redness or anything like that, but making your makeup last longer. Um, if you've got problems with oiliness or um, your makeup likes to slide off because of whatever the reason is, um, you know, this one I like a lot. It does feel really sil silicone-like to the face and to the fingers, um, so if you don't like silicone-based products, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, no, I guess it's not. I guess it has water in it. Well, it feels really sil silicone-like, and some people don't appreciate that feeling. Um, I don't personally care. I think it makes my makeup last really well and last a really long time. Um, but other than that, that's it. That's my first product. Um, I've used it before and I've liked it in the past. And that was actually, I have two receipts, um, $6.99 and that's what it cost and I paid $7.56 for it. Um, I don't have any coupons, so everything that you see in this haul was paid completely for. I have no associations, no coupons, and if I did, it's only because I'm um, a member to them. But um, anyways, so the next item I have isn't from this haul. It's a foundation because I didn't purchase a foundation. It's called Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I have it here in the shade Porcelain. I've used this a couple times and I thought it was okay, but it did like to crack around my nose and my chin. But I have an item that I bought later that we'll be going through um, to see basically how it looks um, compared with this product. But I will be wearing this today and yeah. So I guess I'll just get ahead with putting it on um, on my face paint myself all up. And the really cool thing is, is I've never had a foundation with a spatula. Like this is how you put it on. Um, so I actually buff my foundation in with this one and I only go in portions of my face because it likes to dry out. Um, and I don't like that. So I only work in small portions of my face. Um, if you have that problem, I would definitely suggest trying this process I guess you would say um, what I'm doing now is when I buff my foundation in it leaves streaks because I apply it with a brush that isn't super expensive but I'm actually applying it with this new sponge that I have um, it came in this package right here it's called the real techniques by Sam and Nick Bold Metals Collection Miracle Diamond Sponge, and it says 900 carats, 13 faucets, facets, I don't know, um, any look. And this cost me $9.99. So, you know, I actually really like it. I've only, like I said, used everything once, unless I specify differently. Um, so yeah. Let me paint myself here. See how this looks. I'm really bad at doing makeup on the left side of my face and I don't really know why. Maybe that's just because I'm a right-handed person um, or I'm just making excuses, who knows. Um, but personally, I really like makeup 
and it's a passion of mine that I would love to carry on for years and years. Um, I actually want to go to school for it and uh, practice and learn makeup techniques like a professional. Like I want to be a business owner, you know, and maybe someday you guys, my followers, can come to my store and get some of my makeup maybe or if I only have one business you could come and I will be there and like sign stuff someday maybe you never know right um, currently though I am in the process of graduating um, so I'm not yet there but soon enough I will be on my way to college getting a business degree and my parents are actually super proud of me for graduating because, you know, I'm graduating. That's a big deal, right? Isn't that supposed to be a big deal? A big part of your life is uh, graduating. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. I really am happy about being able to graduate, um, it's a big deal in our family, just because not everyone in my family has graduated, and to be part of one in my family who did graduate makes me feel really honored, honestly, it really does. Um, and you should feel the same way, even if everyone in your family did graduate, you should feel honored to graduate, because not everybody makes it and to make it through high school is a big deal. Um, so anyways, I'm done applying foundation, I believe. Um, it doesn't, I don't like a full coverage foundation, so if you see any imperfections, that is why. Um, so the next item I have here is the perfect match, if I can get it in there, hang on. Um, the perfect match concealer by Ramel London in the shade 125 Fair. And it says that it wears for up to 13 hours. I don't know how many hours I wore this the other day, but all I know is I got up at five o'clock and did my makeup within a half hour and I took it off when I got home around three. Um, if you wanna do the mask, you're more than welcome to. But um, I actually apply this to my chin. It's got like a little brush um, you squeeze it and it applies it through the brush itself and then you blend it out with whatever tool you use if you prefer a brush or a sponge or whatever. Um, I really like it because normally I crease on my chin and I didn't crease at all. Like, at all. And I was really amazed because that is my biggest issue every single time I wear makeup is creasing on my chin. And I feel like I'm not the only one. Like I feel that girls just try to hide that they are not creasing anywhere. And the thing is, is people's faces have creases, okay? And to try to hide that, I think is a little bit ridiculous, but at the same time, like I totally get it, you know? But um, so far I like the color payoff. Um, it's really close to my skin color and whatnot, but I don't really like the way of applying it. Like if they had this concealer and like, let's say a, a tube that wasn't like this, like a squirt pump or something and whatnot, and I could like apply it um, how my foundation applies, that would be awesome. But you know, I, you know, pickers or beggars can't be choosers, right? Um, so as you can see, I'm using the pointer tip of my sponge to get up really close on my eye and the crease. I like to sweep, swipe, sweep, swipe. Um, I do dab it out. A lot of people say that you shouldn't um, swipe, but you know, a lot of people say not to do a lot of things. So as far as I'm concerned, I will do as I please. Um, I actually have a little acne mark going on right there, so we're gonna see if this will cover up my acne problems, cause that's what 
people say you should do is you shouldn't have acne. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't care if you have acne. If you have acne, who gives a crap in this world? Because most likely the people watching me are teenagers and they're going to have acne. They might even be students at my school. Who knows? But, um, so I'm done with that. I actually have this powder here that is the same powder that belongs with my foundation right here. Um, it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. And it's, I don't have a shade, I guess. Or maybe I just can't find it or see it. But this is what it looks like. It's just a skin colored compact for me. I don't like this powder. Um, I think it's really crappy. It doesn't come out of the compact. It leaves me feeling tacky and I look, I don't know. I just don't think it sets really well as far as other powders I've used. But if you wanna know more, I guess in depth, as much as you can get in depth about a foundation and powder, um, I have a separate video review um, little selfless uh, promotion here um, that goes and talks about my likes and dislikes of this powder and foundation set as far as what you might want to know about it and my personal opinions if you would like to know. I don't know. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't, maybe you just want to watch me and laugh. Who knows? You can do whatever because you're my fans and you can like me or not like me. Um, I have to, as you can see, powder my face like crazy because literally nothing comes off of this powder. Like, look how much is on my brush. Like, barely anything. And I'm still, like, tacky. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, which I should have done when I went and did this haul, is got a new face powder, but, you know, I make mistakes. I'm healing. All right, so um, I bounce around sometimes. I go from like eyes to face or from face to eyes back to face. So we'll just kind of guess and check where I go from here, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna be doing anything with my eyes like eyeliner or eyeshadow just because I didn't buy anything that has that's eyeliner or eyeshadow related. Um, so that's it for my foundation and powder and concealer, but I did get this new, it says a bronzing powder. I use it as a contouring powder. You can use it as whatever. Um, it's by Essence. It's called the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder in the tone or shade Lighter Skin. Um, and then on the back it says 01 Natural. So um, I guess look for that. Um, I paid for this one, let's see, it was $4.99 and I paid $4.99 for it. Um, I use this big, huge powder brush, look, it's as big as my head, um, to apply my contour. I'm going to do that right now because why not? I'm a little sassy today, if you can tell, guys. I'm sorry if you take offense to that. Um, that's just my personality sometimes, because that's the kind of person I am. I just did a sassy hair flip there. See that? Hey guys, you caught me red-handed with a sassy hair flip. Um, so, as you can tell, a little bit, maybe, I know the lighting's not that great. Right here is um, my contour, I guess because I powder contour and I have yet to try cream or liquid or whatever else there is out there. My hair is really annoying. You know, in the next video, I think I'm gonna wear my hair up and see what you guys have to say if any of you have yet to respond to my videos. That would be great though, if you guys wanna respond. You know, I don't have a name for you um, for my channel. I mean, my channel name is Bug Essentials, but I know that most YouTubers have names that they give their subscribers. I wanted to say, do something with bugs, but like, that's a little weird. Um, anyway, so that's done. I am a little heavy, so I'm gonna go back in with my powder brush and blend it out a bit. I know I'm a little harsher than most YouTubers, but 
Um, my brushes are not expensive and it definitely shows sometimes and it's hated because I can't do anything about it. Um, so now we are going to move on to, let's see, I think this is, what brush is this? I have a highlighter brush and a blush brush that look exactly the same and sometimes it's a bit hard to tell which one's which and you don't want to be putting highlighter on with your blush brush or vice versa so I have to take a minute and look but um, I'm gonna be applying my blush and if you're interested in my blush it's another essence product I've had it for a while it's called silky touch blush and it's in the shade 20 baby doll as you can tell it's quite old um, this, if I can get it open, is the shade. It's just a little pink blush. Um, but as far as that goes, and it's real, it goes on really heavy, so you do have to tap your excess off. But see, you smile, smile, rosy cheeks and out. I like to do cheeks and out just because that is what I like to do. Some people only do cheeks, others don't do cheeks and just do a strobe. Um, I do a little bit of both and then I blend it out because I'm super uh, heavy handed. As most of you have probably noticed by now, I can't do the left side of my face with my right hand. Um, it's a bit tough sometimes reaching that side of my face um, with my right hand. So I just have decided to do left side with left hand and right side with right hand. That is not the case always with eyeshadow, which you probably will see in a video down the road. Um, so anyways, uh, that brush, blush, not brush, but blush, um, like I said, goes on heavy handed. So I decided to blend it out a bit. Now we are gonna go in with a new highlighter. Um, it's the first time I've tried LA Girl, but this is what it looks like. Sorry about the reflection problems. Um, it says LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder, which is just a really fancy word for, or words, for highlighting powder. But it's in the shade 80 Watt, whatever that means. Um, I like a really strong highlight. Not everybody does. Um, but I like to be heavy because that's just me. Um, if you don't, don't worry. Just go in with a heavier, a lighter hand. Definitely not heavier. If you don't like a heavy look, don't go with a heavy hand. It's just kind of common sense if you ask me, but you know. Um, if I'm being a little bit rude today, I'm just, I'm in a sassy mood. I'm not happy, um, with some things that are going on in life right now. Um, but that's none of your concern at this moment, um, because that's makeup. Um, actually, I forgot to say, that is, it was $7.99, and I paid $7.99 for it. Um, I was just about to fish up my glasses. Most of you guys probably saw in one of my other videos that I wear glasses, but I don't like to wear my glasses in my videos because of the fact that I am... Like you would see my my phone screen because that's what I record on in my glasses and I feel like that's very distracting as a viewer. So as a content creator, I wouldn't want to push that on you guys to be awkward and whatnot. I mean, look at me, I'm going back and uh, rubbing out some of my contour or my highlight. I was a little too strong. I don't think you'll ever hear me say that again. Um, like I said, I'm not doing anything else fancy with the eyes except for mascara. So I guess the last thing for me to go over as far as what I'm doing with my face before I go and do um, eyebrows, because I forgot my stuff, so I'm gonna have to go get it. But um, I have this Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Wear Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, this is the wand, if you wanna see up close um just a standard basic wand and i believe i paid let's see 4.99 for this because it says it was 4.99 and i paid 4.99 for it um so i'm gonna put this on real quick 
Um, but I'm not gonna do it in front of the camera because I don't wanna stick my eyeball close to the camera because I have no mirror. So I'm gonna go put this on real quick, get my eyebrow stuff, and I'll be right back, okay? All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, I thought I would show you a comparison. Sorry, I'm trying to get a mirror. Um, a comparison for my eyes because there's quite a difference. And I'm sorry the lighting has gotten so bad. I was using natural lighting, and now I don't really have a choice to use my indoor lighting. And I have yellow walls with yellow lights. Yellow lights. Um, anyways, here's the comparison, maybe, if you can tell. Can you, maybe, possibly? I think there's a difference. Um, so I'm gonna finish up. I thought I lost my mascara for a second. Um, and do my mascara here, um, because I don't wanna get back up and I'm lazy. Sorry to, if that bothers anybody, but um, kinda don't have an option because I'm lazy, I guess, I don't know. Um, I think, I really like this mascara. Um, do it, could it be better? Yes, obviously, lots of things can be better. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing my mascara with my right hand and I'm not getting everything. Um, but I think for a $5 mascara with other ones, that I'm sorry if you can hear him. If you can't, you probably think I'm crazy. My boyfriend's in the next room and he's screaming weird things, probably because he's playing video games and you probably don't care. Um, you do have to pretty much coat your lashes for it to show up. Um, but the results after you do that are the best I've ever seen. Um, I'm actually gonna be washing my makeup off after this, so I'm not gonna do my bottom lashes because I don't see a point in that. Um, Anyways, so I am going to fill my eyebrows in. I will tell you what I'm using. So I'm using a brush from Essence, a little tiny angled brush, and a really old spoolie that I need to replace. It's about this, this looks like this, it's really messed up. Um, and then I'm using a really old, it says eyebrow cake powder. Um, it had two little brushes inside the compact right here, and then there's wax and two shades, so you use this lighter one on the inner side of your, inner part of your brows, like right here, and then this side on the tails, and like halfway out. Um, it's from NYX, and it's in the shade 03 taupe slash ash, um, whatever that means, but... Let's see if I can do this. I'm in a new recording area. This is really tough to learn how to record in a new environment when you're not used to it. But you know, as a person, you have to be inventive. That might be the word, maybe not. And maybe it'll come to me later. Um, I'm not the greatest at doing eyebrows, but I can definitely try. And if I can try, I believe that you could try. Right? That that should be right, I think. You know? If I can try, anybody can. Not to say that I'm not worth trying or anything, but you know, why not? Um, my eyebrows look really heavy for some reason in the mirror, and I I don't know why. Or not in the mirror. What are we talking about? Um, in the video. And I'm going to see if I can fix that in the future. But for right now, that's just going to have to be how it is. Because there's nothing I can do to fix that right now. Um, I really do honestly suck at doing eyebrows. I like put everything on and then I spoolie it out so that it's not super heavy because I don't want to look weird because I feel like, because I'm not a person with brows normally, so then when I put on brows, I don't want to be like, bam, brows. And then people are like, are you sick? Are you okay? Did you like sneeze your eyebrows off or something? Like, I don't want somebody to think that I can do that. Like, you know, 
Like, you know when people don't wear makeup and everyone's like, are you okay? Are you sick? Did you catch something? Do I need to be worried about you? Are you dying? I don't want people to think that about me. I mean, but it's not like I care. I mean, maybe I do a little bit, just a tiny bit. But I mean, who wouldn't? People don't lie about that kind of stuff. I don't. But, um, so yeah, that's basically my eyebrows, my mascara, my problems, um, my new makeup. If I did by accident miss something with forgetting to list prices, um, I will personally put, be putting links in the description box down below. Please make sure to open it and read it if you have any questions. Um, subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, you know, I would love to see you guys watch my videos and talk to you. I check my videos. I'm going to be um, replying to comments, liking comments, pinning comments. I don't really know what that means. I think your comment like shows up at the very top of my comment section, but right now I only have one comment. Um, I will be trying to upload every Tuesday and Friday. I missed this last Tuesday. Um, I didn't have anything to review or enough time because I was gone the weekend before. Um, but anyways, I think that this makeup is really cool. I like it. It goes on pretty well and smooth. It's like the colors that I need, the quality that I need. Um, if you want to see what I look like with glasses, I'm going to put them on. I'm not going to keep them on though, just because some people are going to be like, what? She wears glasses? I've never seen her in a video with glasses. Well, the last video I did, you actually saw me with glasses on. I'm pretty sure. Um, so this is what I look like. I, I don't think I look that bad with them on. I mean, this is what I look like every day because I can't see without them. You can actually see the blue right here from the laptop that my phone is sitting on. Um, it's not half bad. I can't see very well without with them not on my face, obviously. I did get one more item though to remove my makeup with, which to remove my makeup with, which I will be using when this video is over. It's the Clean and Clear Makeup Dissolving Facial Cleansing Wipes, oil free. Instantly dissolves makeup, instantly, don't forget. Dissolves dirt, oil, and makeup, even waterproof mascara. Well, dang, that, that's a crazy good deal. You're supposed to knock. Jeez, <laughs> asshole, knock. You ruined your own tank. Um, no, anyway, anyways, you guys were obviously gonna see him in one of my videos, so come over here. Hey, what's up? Um, this is one of my really good friends. Uh, come into the video better. They, the they video can't better. see your face. Oh my god, look. Anyways, um, <laughs> this is Brandon. Um, he's my videographer, my photographer, and my editor slash partner. Um, I'm actually filming in his room, so that's why yeah. you've never seen this area. Um, I'm actually about to wrap up. Okay. So, well, I was just gonna come in and grab my and get soda stuff. to show Micah. Okay. Well, I will be done in a second. <laughs> okay, now we'll have to end that. Not really. It's fine. Do you just want to leave it? Just go. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm trying to be honest with you guys. You know, people walk in, obviously, when you're recording and, and doing makeup and whatnot. That's the reality. You just have to be nice. I'm not that nice all the time. Anyways, back to our uh, instantly dissolving dirt oil and makeup, even waterproof mascara cleansing wipes. This is what it looks like. I'll pan this in for you. Um, it comes with 25 pre-moistened wipes. I know a lot of you guys probably don't like the word moist. I don't find, I don't have a problem with it, but you know, people have the problem with the word moist a lot. Um, anyways, I don't know. These were, were, let me draw that word out for you. Um, $5.99 and I paid $5.99. Man. I need to get myself some coupons. I actually do have a coupon. I just forgot it. I was in a rush. Um, anyways, so that is the end of my video. That wraps it up. Um, if the rudeness bothers you or the sarcasmness or the realness of it bothers you, then please don't watch my videos because 
I don't need your negativity in my life. I already have enough negativity from myself, honestly. No, I'm kidding. Um, sorry if that was a little too deep. <laughs> um, anyways, I will be trying to upload, like I said, every Tuesday and Friday as best as I can. Um, my camera quality should be better within the next, like, two weeks. Hopefully, because I actually have a real camera and not recording from my phone. Um, anyways, stay tuned. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Um, little self shameless promotion. Um... You know, thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you guys want to help me come up with a name, that'd be great. I've been trying to say goodbye for like, what, three minutes now? Four minutes? Maybe you could put it in the comments. <laughs> um, if you want to see more videos of this, please give this video a thumbs up. And maybe give me some more video ideas because I would love doing this. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.